Hey you guys and welcome back to another motivational cleaning video. Today I'm going to be sharing a super long and jam-packed video with you guys. I know it's been a long time since sharing our whole house so today I put together a few of my previous videos to give you guys a whole house get it all done clean with me marathon. I'm going to be sharing it all from speed cleaning, deep cleaning, tackling closets, drawers, and behind appliances along with cooking, organizing, and my favorite decorating. So if you're new here, this video is perfect for you because you get to see kind of what my whole house cleaning videos look like. And if you're a returning subscriber, then this video is merely for you to get prepared for a new and refreshing whole house clean with me. And let me tell you guys, I'm editing the video right now and I am so pumped and so ready to share this video with you guys. So if you are new here, join our family by hitting the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get up and clean together. Put me on on your TV for tons of motivation to tackle your day, or you can save this video for later. Either way, I hope it inspires you to get it all done. Today I'm taking you along with me throughout our home to tackle laundry, clean, organize, and also declutter. This video is jam-packed with all the motivation you need to tackle your laundry and get ahead. I really hope you enjoy it. If you're new here and you enjoy videos like this, I would love to have you join my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Today I'll be starting out of course in the laundry room. Today's main objective is to tackle and wash all of our clothes as well as fold and put them away. Y'all know that it takes business days to get this done so I really wanted to set aside a full day to make sure I got everything done. We're currently using the washing powder called All along with Clorox Laundry Sanitizer and Downy Scent Beads. This is our favorite combination because it honestly gives us good results with our clothes, no fading of colors as well as the added bonus, it doesn't cause London eczema to flare up. If you were here for my last video, then this is what comes next in the case of getting our house in order. If you guys already know what's been going on, then I just want to say thank you so much for reaching out to me and just sending me your condolences. But as far as getting our house in order, this is what comes next because for me to have a clean home, I have to start with my living room getting clean. And then the next thing I start with is moving on to laundry in our bedrooms. But I want to know down in the comments, what does it take for you to have clean and organized to feel accomplished for the week? You got that something that can't be seen You got that one thing that's hard to come by It's not your styling, it's 
In between the washing and folding, I will be moving on to the bedrooms to make sure I get those clean. But today I also added the closets, which was, you know, just an added bonus. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing that later on in today's video. So let's go ahead and just get to it. I'm going to work on folding the clothes and then I'll move on to the bedrooms. The first room that we're tackling is what is now the boys room. We have new clothes for the boys that we got and it's all over their dresser as you can see. We got them pants, shirts, shoes and more. So now we just need to go through and organize and put things away.
Right now the boys share this dresser and we love it. It has worked out well for us and if you guys remember our experience with the kids other dresser in the past then you know exactly what I mean. We do see that they are accumulating more and more things so we did add more organization to their closet. I did want to add the drawer organizers that we got from Big Lots into the kids' drawers. However, they weren't really suitable for kids' dresser drawers. So I will have to find some different organizers that, you know, are a tad bit on a smaller size so they'll fit. You got me begging pretty please. I'm so hung up on you. I couldn't tell you what it feels like. But I sure think you do. So today I had just enough time in between washing the loads to go ahead and start on the boys closet and if I'm just going to be honest you guys what gave me the motivation to get this done is the fact that a couple days before I filmed this video Jaden had told Jake when and myself that he felt like they didn't have any toys you guys he felt like he didn't have anything to play with and he couldn't find some of his favorite toys and that just really blew me i was very flabbergasted because look at all the things that they have so i went through their closet organized all of their toys and i showed him and he was very happy with it and very grateful however that's what motivated me to get this done and i was very happy that i was able to do this for them
Jaden did start school recently and if you guys are up to date on my recent vlogs then you know that he's in first grade and this is just a huge milestone in his little baby life and I'm just so happy for him. However, we did have to go out and get them some new him some new school clothes you guys so we decided to get all the kids clothes and we racked up on tons of pants for the boys and I was just so excited to go ahead and put it all away. As I said earlier, they are starting to accumulate a lot of clothes so I wasn't really able to put all of their jeans in their drawers which I didn't want to anyway because as a kid my mom always hung our jeans up so that's what I'm doing now I'm going to hang their jeans up and then I have an extra dresser plastic dresser drawer that we got from Walmart that I'm going to put in the corner of Jada's room so we can organize that for his school clothes To keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Been playing it down, but I'm so getting tired. Now won't you meet?
moving into London's room, you guys are going to see the same thing. We have some new clothes to put away, the closet to clean and organize. And I'm just going to be honest, you guys, in London's room, I always have to do the most tedious of cleans because this girl, she literally plays with every single thing that she has, even the straw wrapper. Not even joking with y'all. So I'm just going to make sure I get all of this clean and organized and put her new clothes away as well. Birthdays are also coming up for the kids, so I really wanted to see what all they had as far as toys, clothes, shoes, books, and everything, just so we know what to get for them or what to request for them when it comes to family members as well. In the middle of using the vacuum, you guys, I did have to stop and clean it out a little bit because listen, even though I clean the kids' rooms and vacuum their rooms weekly, we get so much hair accumulated in this vacuum from our pets. So I always have to do this and it surprises me each and every time how much hair is always in this vacuum. However, it's so easy to clean and I really like it. I usually do more than this. This is just more so of taking all the hair out. Sound on you. It all goes all, all, all. 
As I said earlier, it honestly surprises me how much hair is on our carpet and floor that we can't see. Right now I'm just going to hang London new bows on her bow organizer. She got this from her aunt whenever she was one year old you guys and we've had it ever since and I absolutely love it. However we got a lot of new bows from Once Upon a Child and it made London so happy and it made me happy as well. But as far as London new clothes I know you guys are going to realize that she does not really have a lot of new clothes out on her dresser drawer and that is because as soon as we got back from shopping and things like that London tried on all of her clothes had a fashion show and she even wore her winter outfits you guys so it was already in the washer and I just had to put things away but you guys are going to see that there's still so much more to do
It's easy to speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. I wanted to focus on the bedrooms in between washing so that it was easier. I folded the clothes and then Jacqueline brought the proper stacks to me while I cleaned and organized that specific room. This way I made the most of my time and I even got extra hands on deck. What are some ways that you make it easier whenever you do laundry? Let me know down in the comments. Keep calling me a mad woman Boy, you tell me your business If I'm a mad woman
I did make my way back to the boys room. I had a few extra loads to put away into their closet. By this point, it was maybe like in the evening time. I was really tired, so I had to dance and move around to keep myself uplifted. But I really hope you guys are enjoying this video because so far watching it back, I really am. I'm just gonna get a few things done in the boys room and then we'll be moving on. In all the bedrooms to clean, I did use my Thieves Household Cleaner. This is my go-to product because of all its benefits. It doesn't cause eczema flare-ups and it is good around our pets, especially the boys' turtles.
The last bedroom to clean in our home is our bedroom. We have a ton of laundry to put away as well as cleaning after a busy day. I won't make our bed, rather just get it prepared and set up for bedtime, but stay tuned because there's still a lot to get done. If you are wondering why we only have one lamp now, listen you guys, the other day Jake and I, we were just sitting down in the bedroom and I kid you not, our lamp just shattered three different times while we were just sitting down. Nobody was touching it, nobody was near it. It just broke three different times. It was really freaky, really creepy. So we do have to get a new lamp, but I just wanted to let y'all know that little story because that was just the creepiest thing that has happened to me this month, but we will be getting a new one. And I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time All the time And my heart's beating fast when it's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs So I can't get enough I'm thinking about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine To be mine I wanna say yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him now, 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 now. I wanna say yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it starts, when it starts. I told him I would do it all for you, and I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. Now I can be a fighter. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter So I'm gonna be doing the same thing to our dresser that we did to the kids dresser as far as organizing. I know so many of you guys had questions asking where do we get this dresser from? And we actually got this from Big Lots. The kids dressers we got off Amazon, which I would try to have all dressers linked down in my description box. However, ours we got from Big Lots and I absolutely love it because I feel like it has so much more space. Let me know down in the comments if you remember our last dresser that we had. It was a dresser, a TV stand, and so much more. I feel like it held up, but it just feels so good to actually have a true dresser that holds a lot of our clothes. I told him I can be a
You guys, I got a new desk from Amazon not too long ago. I really needed something that will hold all of my YouTube equipment and also something that will hold all of my Cricut equipment. If you are a Cricut lover, then you know how messy things can get and just how much space you really need. So I was really concerned with how well this will hold up, but it's been really great. I absolutely love it. So I will make sure to have this link down in my description box. Now it is finally time to tackle our own closet. You guys, we had so much going on in here. So many random items, things, shoes, and even clean clothes on our floor. So I had to get all that cleaned up, picked up and put away, and also organize our shelf in the back of the closet, which you guys will see here in just a little bit. We had a lot of old Apple boxes. I know a lot of you guys can relate. I seriously save every single thing from my phone boxes, computer boxes, everything. So I have to get all that thrown out finally and just get all of this under control. Thank you. 
And here we have it, you guys. This is how my typical laundry day looks. And as I said earlier, the main objective was getting our clothes washed, folded, and put away. It's all done now, and I really hope you enjoyed this one. We tackled laundry, bedrooms, and even closets. If you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in our next vlog video. Bye! Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching another motivational cleaning video. So today I'm going to be sharing just a quick clean and cook with me. This time was such a busy week in our life you guys. We were dealing with so much. We were dealing with work appointments, doctor's visits, we were waiting on test results and then we were also dealing with the kids starting their first days of school. So on a day where I would usually set aside to clean and organize our kitchen, put away new groceries, do all of that good stuff, I didn't really have the time to do that today so I'm going to be taking you guys along with me trying to get it all done in all honesty I thought I wasn't going to be able to get it done but we tackled a lot so I'm going to be sharing that with you guys today I cleaned our kitchen as well as organizing and deep cleaning the fridge along with our everyday outside responsibilities. I did share a mini grocery haul of some of the items that we got delivered from Walmart so I hope you guys enjoy seeing that and if you are new to my channel and you enjoy seeing content like this I would love to have you join my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. So 
so once I had taken everything out of our fridge, this was the view, just a chaotic mess. And if you've been watching, then you know I share tackling laundry, our living room, closets, dressers, and more to get our housekeeping priorities in above water. So now that it was time for the fridge, I tried to tackle it and show it, but a cell phone call emergency really just took over. So I only had about 30 minutes to get all of this done, plus leave to get Jacob from the doctor. Whenever I washed our dishes, I just went ahead and got the kids ready and I didn't really do that on camera. I thought I wasn't going to have time to do all of this and then leave to get Jake one. But once I got the kids ready and they were sitting down, they were doing a really good job. So I managed to, you guys, clean out the fridge and get everything else washed and put away. But when I tell you guys, I was literally, I had made it in just the nick of time. I really, really did. But I was still happy that I was able to get it done. But on the other hand, I was upset that I stopped filming and I didn't really get all of this on film because I thought I would be late getting Jake from the doctor. This was later that day, and after getting our baby situated, I came right back to finishing our kitchen. Jaquan was home, and he did help as much as he could. But later, I did share a mini grocery haul with you guys. We were actually supposed to get our items earlier this day, but our delivery was super delayed, and it wasn't even everything that we wanted. But I still shared what we had, and after that, I got to cleaning, and then I made dinner. So I wanted to categorize everything so you can see it. I really hope that you guys can. I'm just gonna start over here on the left side with the corn, and then after that we have some string cheese for the kids' lunches, pork chops, which are my absolute favorite, and then we have four pizzas, which was actually just a substitute for a larger pizza. And then we have a pound and a half of bacon, three pounds of onions, you guys, Kool-Aid, and then our vegetables which is really just consists of green bell peppers, jalapenos, asparagus, which I'll be making for dinner tonight. And then we also have some kale, baby spinach, and lettuce. We also have some bananas along with some heavy whipping cream and butter. Next to that, we did manage to get some kids Lunchables, but not many due to the shortage. Uncrustables again for the kids lunches and then this is our canned goods which I'm not going to say because you guys can pretty much see and read this. <music> to 
To finish off the food on the bar area, we have strawberries, my popcorn, watermelon, and then my favorite chips. And then we're gonna go ahead and move to the right side, which we just have waffle fries for the kids. And then we have lunch alfredo for myself, and then our family's favorite ice cream, you guys. Then we have two boxes of broccoli and cheddar bake for my school lunch. And then we also have noodles for us all because we all eat noodles. Two boxes of cereal bars and then a box of baked potatoes. Actually, I mean scalloped potatoes, y'all. I'm so sorry. And then we have beans for ham and beans and then actual Black Forest ham underneath that. Two packages of hot dogs and then the kids do have fruit cups. We do have some dip sausage and breakfast sausage. I'm saying dip sausage because the dip sausage is just that for actual dips. And then we also have two steaks, which I'll be making for dinner tonight. Ham hocks for ham and beans. And then the kids' favorite, you guys, burritos. And then we have pudding cups. We do have our favorite head country barbecue sauce and then ranch dressing, hot wings, crackers for my potted meat and then last but not least we do have our drinks which is just propel water and then we also have coke so right now i'm just going to go ahead and work on getting our groceries put away we still have to cook dinner get the kids ready for the bathtub check Jaden's homework and just a lot of other responsibilities to you guys so i'm just going to go ahead and work on putting this away usually like i said earlier i would like to organize everything and put it away but since this wasn't even our huge bulk grocery shopping that can just wait for another day Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting Irresistible when I look through your eyes Not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied Young 
when there is more in life that I So once I was done cleaning, Jake went on, we had decided that we were just going to make something nice for dinner and sit down and have dinner as a family. After the long and stressful day that we had, the last thing that we wanted to do was make the kids something super easy and send them on their way to bed without actually having quality family time. So that's why we decided to have dinner tonight and just be grateful and in the moment with our family because we really needed this time with everything that we've had going on. So once I get done with this, I'm just gonna go ahead and start cooking dinner. We cooked a fairly quick meal that I knew the whole family would enjoy and I wouldn't hear anything out of it and everyone would go to bed full. 
So I decided to go ahead and make the steak, some bacon and asparagus, and then you guys will see later that I made some rice. Now usually whenever I cook our steak, I will put our steak in our cast iron skillet. But since our cast iron is on the smaller side, I decided to put our asparagus in that along with the bacon. And you guys, it turned out so delicious and so good. I did make our steaks in our non-stick skillet to save some time since they were so big. To season our steaks, I did use three different kinds of steak seasonings, you guys. The first one that I'm using is the gourmet steak seasoning, and then I use the fancy steak seasoning, and then we also use Chicago steak seasoning along with salt and pepper, and then you guys also saw me put garlic in the skillet. So I did get our asparagus started a little early. I usually like to let them cook for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on how soft you want them. Now keep in mind it's 15 to 20 minutes after I add them to the bacon. When it comes to our steaks, we did cook them for about five to six minutes on each side and then we did give them some time to rest while we worked on finishing up the rice. So you guys, whenever I poured the rice, I didn't realize that I wasn't filming, but to break down how I make my rice, I always use the two to one water to rice ratio. I first let my water come to a full boil and then I will add my rice. Once my rice is in the water and it gets to going, I will turn the heat down to medium and then let it come to a full boil again. And then once it comes to a full boil for the second time, I will turn the heat down to simmer to very, very low and let it simmer. And then I will just cover it for about 10 to 15 minutes or until I see fit until it's done. And then that's whenever I add my butter or anything else that I want to add. Okay you guys, so now that the steaks are done, I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out so they can rest. I did not cut into it right away, even though I deeply wanted to know if it was cooked the right way on the inside. I couldn't cut into it because I did not want all the juices to run out. So I let them sit for five minutes while I finish the rest of the rice, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cover our asparagus so it doesn't get cold while the third steak cooks. So 
So here on the other side of me, you guys, I just have the kids prepping the table and getting it ready for us to have dinner. As I said earlier, coming together at the end of the night after a rough day and just spending just this quality time together as a family and eating dinner, it is my favorite part of the day and it makes the kids feel so special and so important whenever they get to tell us about their day. So once Jaden and London get the table ready, which this is something that they truly enjoy doing because they really love having responsibilities and just being our little helpers. So once they get done doing this, we like to just, you know, get together and gather around the table and sit down at the same time so that we can pray and eat dinner and talk about our day together. Alrighty, so I wanted to share with you guys how the inside of the steak look. I feel like I did a pretty good job. I love making steak, but I don't think I've had any steak turn out like this, you guys. It was so juicy, so tender. It was, it was just amazing, y'all. And the inside wasn't too pink for the kids. They really enjoyed it too.
So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, coming along with us to cook and clean and just get all the things done. If you enjoyed today's video and you wanna see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And without further ado, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching another motivational cleaning video. Today I'm going to be sharing a messy house attack, getting all the things done on my to-do list like deep cleaning our rugs, organizing, decluttering, cleaning out a room for Jake Wynn, pulling out appliances, to moving furniture to deep clean our floors, and my absolute favorite, transforming areas in our home for the fall season. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy videos like this one, I would love to have you join my YouTube family by hitting the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. I wanted to start in our laundry room because if you guys remember the last time I shared a cleaning video like this I also shared our laundry routine along with deep cleaning and decluttering the back of our house so today I'm going to be doing the same in the front of our house to finish majority if not everything else I want to start on the top area of our laundry room, you guys, because it has been a long time since I've actually deep cleaned our washer and dryer. Of course, I've actually ran like a tub clean on it. However, I haven't actually gone in and cleaned the outside of the washer, the areas that the tub clean can't get. So today, that's what we're gonna be focusing on, especially since we don't have a lot of laundry traffic today. We had about two loads of laundry that we had to wash this day, so while one machine was going, I just decided to get started with cleaning the other machine. Today I also wanted to go ahead and clear all of my hair products and things out of this beauty room. You guys, we were actually going to turn this into a beauty room. However, Jaquin is working from home now, so we're not going to turn this into a beauty room because I want him to be comfortable during this time. So we're going to turn this into an office for him, and I'm just going to go ahead and get my things out of here, and we'll organize that in our room, but that's just for another video on a different day. However, we're going to get everything cleared out of here, and I'm so excited and so ready to get his room done once we get the 
to fall things together. Once the dishes were done, not much needed to be done besides a quick wipe down. I did just get a new glass spray bottle. It's from Grove, but I got it from the section that they have at Target some months back. I really do love the sleeve that's on it because for one, it is one of my favorite colors, London's 2. And then for two, I also get to use my Thieves Cleaner in this spray bottle. And y'all know that that is my favorite cleaner to use. Now I just want to take a moment to just organize what we have from our laundry room area. I wanted to do this in front of Jaquen because we had so many different things that was actually for Jaquen that we had just thrown into the laundry area. So I challenged him to try to keep as much stuff as he could that he thought 
could fit into the smallest band that we had because he couldn't get up while he was working so I just went ahead and threw as much stuff as I could away y'all and he kept what you know he thought could fit into the smallest band it did end up working out and I was super excited for him because I was able to really get rid of everything that was in there that we had that held no value to us for real Once Jacqueline was done with work, I wanted to start deep cleaning this area. I will be transforming this area and other areas in our home later. So I just wanted to start by first tackling the neglected areas to show some love, you guys, before adding the love, the decor. So first I'm going to be tackling the chairs. I'm also going to tackle our bar stools, our rug, you guys, and then I'm also going to deep clean our floors. Now that I'm on the subject of our chairs, you guys, I do not think I have ever deep cleaned Actually, yes, I have. I have spot cleaned them with the brush, but not with my spot cleaner. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today, and I am super excited. Whenever I was deep cleaning our dining room, I wanted to go ahead and completely remove our rug first after I, you know, got done cleaning it because I wanted to really focus on our floor. I will be deep cleaning our dining room rug later, but for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and remove it so it's easier. I always get so many questions about this dining room mirror you guys and this actually came from one of my favorite decor superstores the at home decor superstore and I cannot remember how much it actually cost however I do remember you guys that it was originally supposed to be so much money and I remember going up there to the cashier and saying hey there's something wrong with it knowing good darn well you could not tell what was going on with this mirror but they ended up giving me like a huge discount so i paid a little bit to nothing for it but yeah you guys i got it from the at home decor superstore Today I also pushed myself to organize our cabinet in our dining room you guys. It is full of so many random things. Well not really random because we do use these things often. Like I keep all of my thieves cleaner and products in here. We keep the animal things in here and we also keep our first aid kit. You guys see what I'm saying. However in the future I am looking towards keeping essential things in here. Like London and I we love having tea parties so I want to keep all of our accessories in here. Party accessory and guest accessories. So that's what I'm cleaning this out for.
So once we have the clothes in the dryer and the washer was completely empty, I took full advantage of this and I hopped right on in to deep clean our washer, y'all. It was so much that needed to be done and I could not go another day with looking at how dirty this was. It wasn't the fact that our washer was dirty, you guys. It's the fact that at the top of our washer, there's like a ring and it moves around. So the tub clean cannot reach that part. And a lot of dirt and debris and things like that just build up at the top of our washer, you guys. And I have to go in and deep clean it every so often because it does get disgusting. However, pulling out my washer and dryer and doing things like this, I do love to tackle things like this at least once a month because we have animals. Y'all, listen, we have two turtles, a cat, Two cats actually, and a dog, and I have three kids. As you guys can see, there is so much that goes on in our home. So I always have to pull out all of our appliances and things like that to clean underneath them just so I can have a peace of mind in knowing that everything is clean in our home. To clean our washer today, you guys, I had to use my good old toothpick and towel system because I do have a Bissell Power Shot steamer, but I don't know what happened, y'all. I actually burnt myself pretty, pretty bad. I started crying because I burnt myself pretty bad. I don't know what happened to it. It just, it wasn't working, so I had to use the good old-fashioned toothpick and cotton swabs, you know what I mean, and the towel. However, I did get it clean, clean, but it would have been a lot easier if I would have been able to use my Bissell Power Shot steamer. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. Your love, feel like everything that has a cherry on top. 
Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the before and after of this washer because I thought it looked pretty good, you know, I was pretty happy with the results. Right now I'm just going in and just, I'm acting like I'm doing a regular wash, you guys, but this washer doesn't have any clothes in it. And I'm just running the tub clean so we can go ahead and get the inside of it clean too. Okay, you guys, so right now I am just removing the last bit of my hair products, hair care things, everything, you guys, that I had to make my beauty room come to life. Well, not everything, not the decor, but I am moving that to my room, which I will be sharing a haul in a different video of all of my hair products. If you guys would like to see that, comment down below. But right now I'm going to go ahead and start deep cleaning our chairs. I'm just going to go ahead and use our Bissell Spot Clean Pro to go ahead and get this done. I shared that with you guys in my living room deep clean video. I absolutely love this thing. I honestly give it a 10 out of a 10. We have two chairs that aren't necessarily ruined but they do have some new unique qualities about them like my first ever heat press burn from making my first shirt on my Cricut machine you guys and then we also got oh, this chair is some washable paint that actually didn't even come out as well as it said it would so you know that kind of hurt but as I said they are just unique qualities that are able to get covered up with the kids cushion covers.
So in the mix of my floor routine, I just want to go ahead and pull out both our refrigerator and our stove, you guys. This is something that I love to do at least once or twice a month, you guys. But so much food and debris, dirt, all of that gets caught up underneath these things, especially whenever we are cooking or the kids are helping us cook or things are on top of the fridge and they fall behind or underneath. So I just like to pull these things out, get the area clean, and it just gives me a peace of mind in knowing that every single square inch of our home is clean and the floors are deep clean. It makes me feel good on the inside, you guys. I think the only area that I didn't clean was inside of our pantry, and trust me, that will happen this week. So now that we have made it to the living room, you guys, first off, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video up until now. And if you are here, I would love it if you could just drop a heart down in the comments and let me know you are here. Recently, I have deep cleaned our living room, so I don't necessarily need to deep clean it here. But I do need to get this area clean and organized because our fall decor has been sitting on, on top of our TV stand since I filmed my fall haul. If you haven't checked that video out, I would love it if you check that video out and let me know what you thought because I will be filming another haul of some sort here pretty soon. With that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some fall decor out and just transform our living room with some fall vibes. Never thought I'd meet someone like you. You know you are the reason. The reason why I feel like I can fly. Think about your day and night. I love it when you kiss me. Love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. Just wanna look into your eyes. You know you make me feel like I'm alive. 
You guys, we have so many different things for fall and it made me so happy. Just collecting things over the years and also saving up to get new fall decor and being able to do this, it made me so happy. Because as I said to you guys in my fall haul, fall is my favorite season of the year and I've always wanted to decorate our whole entire house for fall. So now that we have a lot of decor to play with and we can move a lot of different things around in our house to make it feel like fall in each room, I'm just excited to go ahead and get the process started. Once I added decor to the fireplace and the mantle, I just went ahead and moved on to folding up the laundry. It had me super excited and super pumped. I just wanted to go ahead and get the rest of the cleaning done before I added anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold up this laundry. If you guys would like to see more of our laundry clips, I do have an hour long laundry motivational video that includes cleaning, organizing, and laundry motivation, of course, that you guys can check out. I'll have it listed down in my description box.
So my goal for the coffee table was just to add a few simple touches to really bring it to life, but I couldn't really find the perfect things to go together. So whenever my mama came down to visit, she did go ahead and give me a few things, you guys, and I'll share that with you guys at the end of the video, but it just really brought this whole coffee table together, which the coffee table, she gave that to me too, and it just made me so happy. So you guys, I'm gonna be honest, this was about one o'clock in the morning, as you guys probably heard it earlier in the video. My mom did come to visit and she brought my brothers and my cousin, y'all. So we sat and we visited for a long, long time and it was about one o'clock in the morning whenever I got back to cleaning. So I stuck it out, went ahead, deep cleaned the rug, added the rest of the fall decor, and y'all, I was pumped, I was excited. So let me know if you guys are enjoying the video.
Okay guys, so the very last thing for me to do was to dump out the water from each tank. We had the spot cleaner, which is what I'm holding up, and then we also had the rug cleaner. And you guys, let me just tell y'all, the water was so disgusting. I did not want to let this sit overnight because I knew it would smell. So I went ahead and got this rinsed out good, and then I just felt so good at the end of the night whenever I went to bed. However, I did want to let you guys know that I do deep clean our sink whenever I pour filthy water into the sink like this. I do it each and every time. However, it was about 2.45 in the morning, and I didn't realize my camera was dead, so I didn't get the clip of me deep cleaning the sink. However, it did get done, trust me. Alrighty you guys, that is the end of today's messy house attack plus fall transformation. I really hope this video motivated you guys to get up and clean along with me as well as some fall inspiration. If you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!